Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to more or less play Gravity Circuit. In the last episode, we started the game and beat our first uh, main boss. And in this episode, welcome, welcome. Want to take a look at our stock? Okay. Oh my god, a, a double jump! I want this immediately. I'm pressing the wrong button. I keep doing that. It's switch now, so it's registering A as A. Okay. Give myself double jump immediately. I really could use that. Alright, what else? Okay. Interesting. Only hook shot enables you to dash to unstunned enemies. Sliding makes you invulnerable. Interesting. And attack faster. These powers seem really useful. I'm just gonna put that out there. These seem really useful. Super armor. Withstand hits without knockback. Interesting. That could be useful. the sound of this, because this could get me more health. Oh. Oh, I ran out of tokens. Interesting. If I only got this. But that's still pretty darn useful. Okay. Being able to double jump will absolutely be helpful. Okay. I, I, in my head, I was like, I rescued eight guys, so, like, that was gonna be good enough, but I guess that only got me however many tokens I just spent on the double, double jump. But, yeah, being able to double jump, absolutely, practically necessary. Get over there. I will break this. Okay, I have a feeling it's gonna make me actually pay for it. Oh, fine. Alright. So, do you have anything for me? You're about the same. I never went to the right over there. Okay. Everybody drops one of these things. I, f I feel like it's just like, somewhere there's gonna be like a data log that's like, Hey, you talk to everybody, here's what they do. That that guy had nothing. He's not special. Alf! So what makes that mechanism tick is... Hello. I don't recognize you. Who are you? My databanks have been a bit unordered lately, so give me a moment here. Red and orange chassis, the... Okay, you're talking very quickly to read. I'm Kai, the gravity circuit, yes. You've done your homework. What is this place? A research unit? The Guardian Core data archive, in fact. When the virus army attacked years ago, many of our records were destroyed, so I've been piercing t piecing together what little still remains. I don't see any computers. How are you recording your findings? Oh. Glad you asked. We're using my latest innovation. Books! Books? Yes, books! They don't require power and are just nice to hold. Even it takes me a little moment to find the passages I need from these pages. A small price to pay. Archiving everything is what matters. In fact, 
If happen to find any data chips lying around, bring them to me. With a little bit of effort, we can analyze their contents and add them to our records. I'll see what I can do. Much appreciated, Gravity Circuit. So these are the enemies. God damn it, it's the wrong button. Okay, so search this data chip, sure. Got it. Like I can do this, but what do I gain for it? Is it just like a bestiary? If I research something, does that mean I defeat it e more easily? I, I don't get it. I might as well, I guess? I, I don't know. It seems weirdly pointless. I don't understand. Although this is interesting that I can like pogo on something if I use their down attack. There might be something in there later. I don't know. What's up? Okay, you can't go that way. Alright, well, that's enough exploring for now. Although I didn't actually buy anything from this guy. Because I pressed the wrong button. Alright. I wanted to get this. Piercing drill. And... Hmm. Counter-attack could be useful. Launch hook on the helm around. So I can put these on anything that I want to. I'm gonna put the counter on neutral, because I feel like that makes sense. Down on piercing drill, I guess. A little wonky, but I think it'll be fine, I guess. Alright, now let's go to an actual stage. How about that? Here are the available missions. Okay, so it's not like a Mega Man be weakness order thing. Because you don't seem to get anything else. So...
You seem like the hardest one. Maybe I should do you next. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm looking towards either Power Plant or Steelworks. Power Plant se guy seems cool, though. So. God damn it! I hate that about this. Can I, like, change that in the controls? Here we go. God damn it! I pressed the wrong. This is so infuriating. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now. I can, I can accept things with the right button. It'll be consistent and work. The city's main power plant has been seized by the virus army. That wasn't bad enough. The rebel circuit cable has been sighted in the area. With him around, there is a risk he might destroy the main generator. We ourselves can survive with a backup generator, but the city streets would look awfully dark during the night. Take on this mission? Very well. Prepare for transfer. I like that this guy is constant, like, like Hurdle's like, constantly just like, has the wrong priorities. <laughs> it's very amusing. Alright, let's see what we got. Approaching target. A zap lad. Power circuit. Hey, nothing to the left this time. I don't know if I showed it, but I, when I replayed the last stage, I immediately went to the left and there was a little treasure chest. See those lighting up. Get near them. I think the next thing I immediately want to do is get, like, the burst energy health thing. Like, w when I have, like, the rescue tokens for it. Because, considering how infrequently I use the burst moves, I feel like that would just be inherently helpful. Especially because, like, I don't think there's, like, actual health pickups. I feel like running actually makes it harder for me to, like, not get hit by shit. Which I suppose is, you know, generally the case. It makes you faster, but it also makes you take more damage. 
Ow. I didn't realize that guy shot twice. I just noticed, is there like a map on that death screen? Did it show off a map there? I think it did. I feel like there's a lot of, like, potential fun to speedrun this game, because, like, you can see how I'm playing it kind of carefully at times. And, like, there's nothing inherently wrong with that at all. Oh, you're a different enemy! That's why you functioned a little differently. I didn't realize that. I just saw something that was, like... Attacking the same way the other things were. Okay. I have not found too many guys to rescue this time around. I hope that doesn't mean I'm missing something. Yeah, honestly, I would say right now my only main criticism with this game at all is just the general lack of health that you can get. Also, I don't like that the slide isn't, like, fully automatic in a... Like, you know how in Mega Man, like, you would... If you're in a position where you can keep sliding, you would, will keep sliding. I kind of... Like, muscle memory kind of makes that feel like it's a... Uh, It's an annoyance more than anything. I don't necessarily think that's an active, like, actual problem, per se. It's just like a, damn it, Mega Man has trained me that, like, I would just keep going. And I have a feeling that eventually it's going to kill me one of these days. I feel like the most interesting thing about the grappling hook... Is that, like, if you kill an enemy, like, you can launch it into something else. That does seem just in inherently interesting. Also, I'm about to die. Unless I can get that health. Okay. Thank you for the health. I appreciate it. That reminded me of a thing from Mega Man 11. And just like in Mega Man 11, I got hit by it. <laughs> Ow. I don't like these spiders. Yeah, there is a little bit of a map. It kind of shows you, like, how far you've come since your last checkpoint. Interesting. Interesting. See if I could like take one of those guys, one of that guy's things. Ow!
How am I doing in terms of guys I rescued? I've gotten four in this area. I just realized there might be... Here's the annoying thing about, like, the wall grapple. You can't, like... It's not like Mega Man X where you slide down slightly. So there are times when, like, I'm trying to avoid, like, just grappling onto an enemy that I- or a wall that I don't want to grapple onto. And then it turns into situations like that, where I'm just, like, spe so specifically trying to just avoid getting hit. And then, as a result, I don't hold the direction in the right amount of time. But I can remember that I have a double jump. When I get full health, hold on, huh? Wasn't I just almost dead? confused by that, but whatever. Yes, I, I can't, you have to, it's just so annoying, I don't want to do that sometimes. But like, if that's my only biggest complaint, aside from like, the lack of gaining health pickups, like, again, I'm really just enjoying this, it f feels good to play, and it's like, It's just, it's just, I'm having a good time, and that's all I really wanted, especially now that the game is running smoothly. Like, there are minor annoyances, like, oh no, I, my attack accidentally wound up hitting me into that guy's hitbox. Yeah. But like... In the end, it's all kind of minor. I'm having a good time, and that's the important part. This stage feels a lot harder than the last one. What, was it registered as harder than the last one, or...? I don't remember. Oh, hi. That just seemed easier than trying to do anything else there. Damn it. That's bringing me back a while, ain't it? Alright, one second. That's another thing. You, the reason why I died there is because using the grappling, like, locks you in place. So you can't, like, be moving while using the grappling. So that's what got me there. Okay. I set off some sort of big chain reaction. Health there, but I'll grab that for later. Okay. Wait. Almost missed that crack. I don't know what I just got. Oh, another EN thing. Ow. You know what? Sure, that's fine. 
<laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, so that's not a way to go. Ah. That was a little weird. Let's see this crack. I really hope I didn't miss like one of these cracks somewhere. Cause like I don't know if I got everybody yet. No, I did. That's 16. There's only eight. All right, I got everybody. Cool. I think. You know, I think this is one thing I like about, like, the idea of a more modern Mega Man game is to not limit it, per se, by, like, the order in which you play the stages. If you can play the stages in any order, like, I do think it's nice that, like, the game does give you, like, an indication of how hard the stage might be. Which means that you can, if you're a newcomer like me, you can play it in pretty much any way you want to. But you, you have an idea, like, okay, so... This is the specifically, like, the easier stages to start with. And there's no weakness order, so you don't need to worry about the order that you do them in. You can just do them in any order, and you get, like, special techniques like these things, which I haven't even really been using that much. So what are my things? I've got those. I got a piercing drill if I do the button while pressing down, and I got a counter if I press it while while holding neutral. Gotta remember that because I'm not gonna get these four burst things back immediately. I see electric things on the floor, and I'm a little concerned. Hello. So you finally came, says Cable. Cable, step away from the main generator. The city needs it. Hmm. That worthless town. What exactly do you wish to power there? Oh, this is the guy we met the in the first episode. Okay, so we're already fighting him. Okay. The Guardian Core, the Guardian Core's pathetic defense systems. Hmm. Giving me the cold shoulder, huh? Very well. Let's get on with it. All right. Get punched. Didn't mean to do that, I meant to do that. Button confusion, the classic ulti Zeta thing. Punch in the face! Ah! You're punched in the face! And I die. Well darn. Okay, so I see what he's, what his, like, special, like, you got him down to half health, he activates his special power now. I see what it is doing. I think double jumping is really going to help me here, because, like, the, he's going to keep electrifying the ground. So I need to pay close attention to that. It's not that hard to deal with when you know what it's going to be doing. Wow. Oh. Okay, so it can come in different patterns. Honestly, he was not too difficult of a boss. I liked him, though. Because he had a basic pattern, but, like, it was, like... It wasn't, like, an obvious, specific pattern that was, like, so, oh, this is so easy to exploit. It was just, like, these are the things that he can do. Pay attention and learn how to deal with them. 
I, don't know, I really like that. I like that boss. That was a that was a good boss. So be it. The generator is yours. Also, being able to double jump certainly helped. Although I don't think it would have been absolutely necessary. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Now what happens? I will never give up the fight. And he's dead. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. We got the thing! Yay! Mission complete. This is Kai, returning to base. How long did that take me? 15 minutes. Gotcha. Alright, so I can probably do two stages per episode then? If they take me about 15 minutes to do? Approximately? Hmm. Good work out there. The power plant is now safely back under our control. Now I, er, the citizens do not have to worry about working in the dark. Let me know when you are ready to tackle the next mission. Okay, let's see what we can buy now. 